Hello, and welcome to Conversating Actions with Temporal in Python. Python now. Hi, I'm Andrew Fitzgibbon. Hi, I'm Emily Fortuna. Uh, we're developer advocates at Temporal, and today we're going to be implementing this, uh, show you how you, you would code this up um, if you are using Temporal in Python. Um, so, uh, Fitz, pray tell, uh, when might you want to uh, use this compensating actions? Ah, yes. So, compensating actions are great when, say, you've got this distributed system with microservices everywhere and some of them fail as they all inevitably do, you want to, supposing each one of those calls is one step in a wider range of things, you would like to go backwards and make sure that they things that are undone or things that have happened that need to be undone in order to get things in a consistent thing state are, are done. So if you're doing something <clears throat> that uh, if it doesn't go through completely, it needs to be undone. So for example, um, I think the canonical example is money transfer. Mm -hmm. So uh, you take the money out of one person's account. Step two is I put it in the other person's account. But say step two fails, um, you would want to put the money back in the first person's account or you're gonna have some very unhappy customers because you are just making money vaporize. Yes, and often this is uh, treated more, less as a undo the thing and more of a do the opposite of the thing that has already happened, right? So like if we are putting the money back in the, in the, in the first example that mm -hmm. you used, we are not going to the bank and editing their database to remove the history of that transaction having Correct. happened. We're, We're not saying like, make it so that the money is back there um, we're not rolling back, we're rolling forward. Yeah, we're not, it's not like it's literally never happened, but we are trying to put things back into the state as if we're gonna pretend it didn't happen. Yes. We're, we're going to make, go back to the beginning state. No, that's not a rollback. We're going to, un, we're going to undo what we just did. Uh, but meanwhile, other people could be extracting, um, the cat is playing with things on my table. You may have noticed. Um, uh, and what is the cat's name? Fitz? Juice. Um, guest star juice. Um, but yeah, so meanwhile, while we were doing this money transaction, someone else could have been taking out money successfully to a, for a different transaction. So you don't want to roll back and then suddenly create money, though that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Um, you're just undoing your thing. Yep. Hopefully that was clear. Um, Yes, so today we're going to be uh, showing that pattern in Python by making breakfast. Yep. So, specifically a bowl of cereal. Yes, um, so American breakfast. Um, so we are making three steps for our breakfast. We have get bowl, add cereal, and add milk. Um, and then we have these compensations that are um, put the bowl away and put the cereal back in the box. Um, I didn't. I decided not to have a pour milk back into carton because. Yeah, it seems like your cereal soggy. Sometimes you pass a point of no return. Mm -hmm. And right. this is a real world example. Not perfect for compute things, but we try. Yep, absolutely. Um, and so just to give you a quick little lay of the land for Temporal, um, there's kind of two key components. We've got our, uh, workflow, which is our high level, um, logic of the thing. And then the activities do the actual thing. So we're going to be implementing or writing out the workflow, what the getting bowl, adding cereal and adding milk. But as you can see in our activities thing, we've already implemented them which is doing the hard work of printing, printing out. out yep fancy activities here yes okay so in our workflow um we've got our little run function and uh we want to say um uh workflow dot execute activity 
And then we're going to pass in get bowl. Um, yeah. And we could optionally define some parameters for uh, when things close and when things can retry. Um, start to close timeout? Uh, timeout, yes. And then we have time delta we've defined here. And then uh, anything else we need to? Um, we could optionally pass in a oh, retry, the retry policy. policy. Yeah. Yes. Um, which, yep, looks like got the start of one. Yeah. Um, it's going to be named as retry underscore. Yeah. See, and then common. common. Yep. Okay, great. So, uh, get both. So that's one. And we need to await that because we, these things are asynchronous. Yep. We and don't want to simultaneously be putting the bowl on the counter as we're pouring cereal, then also in that same news. spot. Yeah. We specifically want to add the cereal to the bowl that's already there. And then same with the milk. We are strictly cereal and then milk ordering here. Very important. It's serious. Um, if you can pour them simultaneously, chaos. chaos. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, recipe for mess. Okay, but this is the happy state, right? This is when things work perfectly fine. There's never possible failures here when with doing any of this work. Yes. So, um... When something fails, we want to run compensation. So I'm going to wrap all of this in um, try catch. Accept. Accept. Uh, exception. Why? Why is your indent not working? And then um, raise. And um, but also we will. Uh, compensate. Yeah. Here. Um, so, uh, I believe we can we can just write our compensation thing up above. So, what do we want to do for compensation? We want to keep track of. So, we've got these compensating functions. Mm -hmm. um, we want to keep track of the things that we need to undo as we encounter them because we don't want to. Um, there's no point in like trying to put cereal back in um, if like from the get-go. Oh yeah, so uh, if we've never taken the cereal out of the box or never poured the cereal out of the box, we don't want to try to put it back in because it's not out of the box. And then this likewise, I'm presuming that we don't want to try to put the bowl away before we put the cereal away if we fail after those have been added. Right, so if we get the bowl successfully, if we add the cereal successfully, but then we fail to find milk in the fridge, mm -hmm. we don't want to put the bowl away full of cereal before we put the cereal back in the box. Yes, so, so ordering do, orders important. Right, we want to do things in the proper order. So we want to do this kind of in like a stack order. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, we can add our like putting bowl away thing and then add the other and then, or then add the, put the cereal back. And then we, when we want to compensate, we want to do the cereal first and then the bowl. Right. So we want to just basically keep track of a list of um, okay. these activities. And then in the exception, we just say... Run them all. Yeah, do, the, do all the things in the list that you have. Okay. So um, let's make a little class here. Class compensation. And um, let's see, we want to definite. Oh, thank you. Definite. Definite. Definitely definite. Um, we want to have our list, so let's just call them conversations <clears throat> because yep. we're very original. Be a um, list of and, stuff. And put that inside here. Yeah. That's all That's we it. need to just keep track of list and then we'll so, have some mechanism to add it. So, and then we're going to have our function compensation. Um, oh, and 
Yeah, so I was thinking it could be nice to just override the plus operator um, instead of like having add computation. Um, you could just like. Mm, make, yeah. So we can override the. I add. Um, so really, didn't then just treat it as a list instead of that big old class thing. Yes. Um, yes. Plus equals to append. Um, do I say again? Plus equals to append to this list. Yes. Um, so, uh, so. Append thing that we're adding. Cool. Great. Okay. Um, and then, uh, last bit is to, um, To actually run the compensations once we've got them all? Yes. So compensate. Okay. And there's we're not passing anything in there. Nope. So for that, we just loop through for C in compensations. Woo! Compensations. Um, and we're treating these all as function. async functions? Yes. So compensations has to be async as well if we're awaiting uh, async. It's been a long day. Async in front of death, I think. Yes. Hooray. Okay. Um, right. Now, if there is a problem for whatever reason with um, with running this, we can wrap this in a try catch just to yeah report the error right because at this point then you know <clears throat> from a program standpoint this application might not have much else to do and we want to have an, an operator of the application come in and actually put the bull away because our automated system failed problem executed excellent we're gonna have this Named so that um, uh, I can just, just do comma e or yeah yeah. I thought it was just plus. Yeah. Yeah, you can do either one. Why is this not? That's fine. Um, which language are we writing in? <laughs> as as e. Oh, thank you. Yep. There we go. Okay. Whew. Two, switching between too many languages. Yeah. Okay. So Here we uh, go. that is that. Now right. we want to add. Them yes. to this compensation list. Because we've got the compensation list, but we've not done anything with it. So, um, first we want to initialize um, that compensation class. It should just be an yep, empty list to start off with. And then we'll say compensation or plus equals. Um, get. Well, that one's would be the the put bull away, I think. Yes. Now right. I just realized um, we can't literally, or we don't want to literally just execute. We want to wrap it in this workflow execute activity business. Ah, you're right. Yes. So, so we'll put, and that's going to be yep, right there. All right. C. Yep, looks good. Okay. Right, and because um, they're not just functions recall and temporal workflow things to don't really do them. anything they just orchestrate things happening the activities do actual things and uh so in our case of our putting bull away it's the opposite action as getting the bull which presumably calls some sort of bull api to to do that which could fail could be the reason it failed in the first place um and that needs to be in an activity okay so I think that's it. 
Yeah. So. Oh, we need to actually call a compensation. Oh, so yeah. We've added the thing, <clears throat> and I say compensation dot compensate. Um, and these are we we're adding the compensations before running the real okay. action. Yes. In, because in case um say say we're running this mm -hmm. and something happens we crash. We've already we've taken the bull out and then we crash, um, but it's before we have registered. But if we put it down here, yeah. Um, oh, come on, fix my white space. It's not about the white space. Um, if we put it down here yeah. and we crash as we've gotten the bull out, but um, but before we add this, then the bull just stays on the counter. And we have a very dirty counter. Right. Uh, so you gotta stick it before. And you unfortunately do have to, like, then account in this function to say, like, hey, do I have a bull out there? Yeah, right. hence the if present. Yes. Uh, you can do that with a item potency key. Mm. Um, to also make sure it's the same bull that we're putting away in case we're slobs and have bowls everywhere. Yes, many bowls, <laughs> lots of cereal, you know, mm -hmm. chaos. Okay, so I think this is okay. right. I think so too. So now run workflow, please. Okay. Um, go back to there. Oh, none type has no. Was there a typo? So there's our. Oh yeah. So that compensate. Um. Do we need to re? Does I add, have to it does. It does return self. That's why. It, that's it. What it is. Yep. You're right. Being too smart for my own good. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try this again. So far, so good. Executed workflow, and there everything works. Okay. With our print statement. Okay. Um, let us now throw in. An actual uh, error. Yes. <laughs> An intended error. Um, let's do raise error. Um, milk error. Exception? Raise exception? I think it's going to be exception. Yeah. Six. Okay. Can never remember. Uh, run that. Run that. Worker. Okay. Okay. So milk error, but oh, was never 13. awaited. Hmm. Oh, do you have to wait the execute activity? Yes. Oh no, we did. Down here, down oh, here. that one. Okay, yeah, got it. Okay, let's take two. Great, milk error, and then we put the bowl away, and we put zero back. Great. Hey, so Hooray. there you have it. Um, it's uh, pretty easy, and if you don't forget to return self, um, you can also do the slick override <laughs> the plus operator. I have an as a side note as well. Yes. Um, I noticed if you go back to the terminal output, mm -hmm. um, it put the bowl away first and then the cereal. Oh, so With we our, need to reverse. We, but yeah, we need to... Thank you. Yeah, I was not paying attention. Iterate through... Yep, yeah, reversed of the compensations. To actually treat it in the proper order. Good catch. Because otherwise, we put a full bowl of cereal away into the cabinet. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Which may be fine, but... Cereal, bowl. There you go. Phew. Made it. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.